Why is it called a Pygmalion spell? Don't you know the myth? It's Pygmalion. He was a sculptor who carved a woman made of ivory. Pygmalion fell in love with his statue. Wished her alive. He made an offering to the gods. Promised he would give up his greatest love, sculpting. In exchange, when Pygmalion kissed the statue, she turned to flesh. That's beautiful. Why are you crying? You wouldn't understand. And we have a spell to find. Yes, and a proposal to discuss, which you promised to consider. We could compete against each other to find the third item of the unholy regalia. Judas's pieces of silver. Or we could work together to find. Who would win the throne in that case? We both would. We could align and rule hell together. Align? Get married. Married? I think we want different things, Caliban. Are you certain of that? A hundred percent. I don't want to turn the earth into the tenth circle of hell for starters. Well, what if I took that off the table? Is this a negotiation? Because if so, I'm still not marrying you, Caliban. A, I just broke up with my boyfriend. Make me a counteroffer then. And I'll give you this spell I just found. Is that it? The Pygmalion spell? What will you trade me for it? To save your friend and stabilize the realms? Are you seriously having this conversation? The monarch must know how to compromise. Well, as you suggested, Earth would be off limits. And there would be no enslavement of anyone. But what would we do instead? We'd reform the hell that already exists. Make it better. Work with heaven instead of against it, maybe. Work with heaven? Do you think they would do that? Caliban, why do you even want to be king? It's the same reason you want to be queen. Power. I need certain things from you in writing first. And to be clear, our alignment would be political and not romantic. Carnal? Not carnal. No. But if you just broke up with your boyfriend... Maybe what? we'll get back together. Perhaps we should continue this discussion after we cure your friend. Your heart might have softened towards me by then. <laughs>